Nuclear Nancy. Today, I'm going to tell you about nuclear energy. What do you think of when you hear the word nuclear? You probably think of Chernobyl, World War II, or Homer Simpson. People tend to look down on nuclear energy because they don't understand the technology behind it and believe it is unsafe. However, safety precautions are at an all-time high in the nuclear power plants. What is nuclear energy, you ask? Nuclear energy is caused by controlled nuclear reactions or reactions that create products that are different than the initial product that is there in the beginning. And it creates heat, which is used for energy. Before I talk about the costs and benefits of nuclear energy, first I'm going to discuss the two types of nuclear energy. First, there's fission. Fission is when... Fission is when... When one nucleus of an atom splits into two or more nuclei and releases a large amount of energy when doing so. Fusion, which hasn't been able to be done for a long amount of time yet, is when two or more nuclei form one mass nucleus and also put off a large amount of energy. This, however, is not able to be done because of the large temperatures that are needed for it to happen. So what happens at a power plant? Uranium is used in fission to create a chain reaction and create heat. The heat boils water and produces steam, which you see rising out of the tower. When the steam rises up, it drives a steam turbine, and which is used to create electricity. Some benefits of nuclear energy is that it emits almost no CO2, which is one of the greenhouse gases that contributes to global warming. Also, unlike coal and natural gas, collecting uranium needed causes less harm to humans and the environment. And also, one pound of uranium releases the equivalent energy to burning 50 tons of coal.
much habitat destruction because the power plant was going to be built here. But the location was moved due to people's fears. Perhaps the biggest problem with nuclear power is what do we do with the waste? Although it is a lot less than the ash that comes out of coal burning, it is still highly radioactive, and we have not yet discovered what to do with it. For now, we store it in safe containers, and we're hoping for the future that we'll find a use for it. But until then, this is one of the biggest 